Hi, welcome to Keithley Briefly. I'm Steve, and today we're going to talk about accuracy calculation with the DMM6500. As an example, we're going to be on the 1 volt range, making a 1 volt reading. Now, the one year spec for this instrument, which you can find in the data sheet uh, for this range, is 0.0025% of the reading plus 0.0006% of the range. So, in order to find the accuracy of a 1 volt reading, what we're going to do is take the value of the reading and multiply it by the reading accuracy, which gives us 25 microvolts. And then we're going to take the value of the range and multiply it by the range accuracy, which gives us 6 microvolts. Adding those together gets us plus or minus 31 microvolts. Now, this is just one way to calculate accuracy. There are a few others. Uh, for example, there's counts, PPM, and offset. We're going to get into those in just a second here. Okay, so in order to calculate accuracy when you see counts or digits in the spec, you're going to do the reading percentage normally. So it would still be 0.001% of the reading value, but the range is different. So in this case, you're going to look and see six counts. Um, the way that we calculate this is taking the resolution on that particular range, which we'll say it's one microvolt here, and we'll multiply it by the number of counts. Uh, so we end up with a final accuracy spec of 0.001% of the reading plus six microvolts. Uh, then there's PPM. Uh, for this example, we're going to do pen, 10 PPM of the reading plus 5 PPM of the range and we'll say that it's a 1 volt reading on the 1 volt range. Uh, we know that 1 ppm is equal to 0.0001%. Uh, so we just take that percentage and multiply it by the number of ppms that it uh, specifies. So that we get 0.001% reading plus 0.0005% range. Uh, finally, there's offset. This is the easiest of all of them. Uh, it's essentially the count system, but we do the math for you. Uh, so you're going to do the reading percentage like normally, uh, except for you're going to just add the 10 microvolts at the end. So it's the same as if we had a one microvolt resolution with 10 counts. We just do the math for you. All right, so that's how you calculate accuracy. I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you do need any further support, feel free to contact Tektronix support. We'd be happy to help.